We are hearing the new and harrowing stories from the moment that powerful mudslide roared into homes and into lives. Families shattered the tiniest details marking the difference between life and death. And ABC's Neil Karlinski is on the ground in Washington State for us again tonight. You'd never know it by the mountain of mud he's sitting on, but this four-year-old boy was watching TV with his family when he suddenly wound up here. He's with his mother now, who wasn't home, but his father, brothers, and sister are all reportedly missing. He was obviously very, very traumatized. Um, he was hypothermic. He was shivering badly. John Regelbrug, a veteran Navy commander and husband, is missing too. His family is out here looking and won't give up. They found his uniforms and his officer's sword, and then he broke up and he couldn't talk no more. It was just well, because I was crying too. On both sides of the slide, flags are at half staff. The nights are filled with vigils and prayer services. So much unknown, so much of who lived and who died, random. Christina Jeffords, a dental office manager and mother, was babysitting her four-month-old granddaughter. Neither made it out. And I started to get uh, text messages from people who had tried to call her and she wasn't responding and, and then it starts to sink in. Pastor Mike DeLuca told us his stomach has been churning because of all the emotion he hasn't had time to let out. What's this community going to be like now going forward? It will be different. We felt secure. We felt safe. Now. That's that safety, that security, that feeling of uh, comfort has been shaken. Just gut-wrenching for people here, but most don't have time to mourn. The search goes on, Diane.